What if we could travel at warp speed, warp drive, stretching or contracting space-time so a ship rides a wave to distant stars? Sounds like wishful fantasy. But in 1994, physicist Miguel Alcubierre showed it's mathematically allowed under Einstein's equations. Here's how it'd work. Build a bubble of distorted space-time. Space contracts in front of the ship and expands behind it, moving the vessel faster than light without locally breaking relativity. Inside, you're always at rest. But the catch? It requires exotic negative energy, something we've never produced in quantity. More than the mass energy of Jupiter, possibly even more. Some estimates suggest a planet's worth. Plus, how do you start, steer, or stop the bubble? What about cosmic debris accelerated to lethal speeds? Then there's the post-warp problem. Approaching a new star system, you'd accumulate interstellar dust and radiation in the bubble, dangerous on arrival. Still, recent research hints at ways to reduce energy requirements, and quantum experiments may someday shed light on negative energy. So warp isn't just fantasy, it could be theoretical possibility. But humanity is many breakthroughs away. Until then, Star Trek remains a hopeful dream and a reminder that the cosmos still calls.